I think the importance uh, of silver has evolved over the course of the 20th century and reflects a lot of social change. And the role of a silver shop like the silver shop in Princeton was a very, very important part of the community. There was a time when, you know, um, silver shops existed in every major metropolitan area of the United States because it was a place to go for important occasions like weddings. There was a time, certainly in the 19th century and in the early 20th century, when getting married meant buying silver, whether it came to you in the form of uh, a personal expense or by way of a wedding gift, that kind of thing. And it was a key component in the ceremony of marriage and getting married and raising a family. The whole emergence of a wedding registry as a concept for young couples was really invented, I think, back in the 1920s at Marshall Fields in Chicago. And it was an incredible retail marketing insight to basically uh, open up the whole ceremonial aspect of a wedding and opening it up so that your friends and family could get you exactly what you wanted. Silver buyers today have an incredible uh, opportunity to buy absolutely the best. My advice for anyone looking at silver would be really to look at it as a kind of art investment. And in that sense, you'd be looking for the best makers, you'd be looking for handmade, hand wrought. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean antique. Some of the greatest silver was made in the 20th century. And, you know, there's something very interesting that people should know about silver, and that is that it's not simply valuable because it's silver and a commodity, but actually in a, ter in a metallurgical sense, in a kind of organic sense, it actually improves the taste of cooking and anything that you drink or eat off of silver. Now you say, that sounds like folklore. Well, it's not just folklore, it's scientifically true. It's a great conductor of heat, and so it enhances actually. Why did the British want to drink tea from silver? Because it made the tea taste better. Purchasing silver is not a major stretch. Think about it for a moment. If you go and buy an automobile and you take it off that curb, the value plummets. This is not true with silver. It's one of the few things that actually a conservative individual can take pleasure in buying. Thank you.